welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> I'm Cherie, this is my husband Young Ho, and today I thought I would do a video about trying some of these really weird Korean snacks that I find every time I go to the store. So um, I've been making a lot of videos lately about the coronavirus and since we've kind of been stuck in our apartment for a while, it's getting really boring. So we thought we would do something different. Um, <clears throat> and since I keep seeing all these weird snacks and I've never tried them, I thought, well, why not today? I got nothing else going on. So my husband's also here because I thought not only would I try them as an American who's only lived in Korea since December. Yeah, since December. <laughs> Are you here? Hello. <laughs> Um, I thought we would, I would try them, but then I would also have him try them and because he's a Korean, so they might be completely normal to him and stay and wait until the end of the video, because I'm also going to be trying my biggest feared snack, which is bondegi. Is that how you say it? Bondegi? Bondegi. <sighs> They're bugs. They're, it's a bug. So just hang on until then. Anyway, um, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because I'm and also leave a comment. And let me know what other videos you'd like us to do. Um, it would also help with keeping us. <coughs> oh, my God, it's Corona. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's allergies. Anyway, um, so I'm going to hand me a first snack. I'll let you know that is last. Don't even go there. Yet. Hand me a snack. Let's try a snack. Anyone. Okay, so this is tukimen. Guimen. Guimen. Ah, oh, guimen. Yeah. yeah. So there's going to be a running theme here. <laughs> These snacks are a lot of weird fish flavor. This is seasoned dried fish. Do a lot of Koreans eat this? Yeah. Yeah. Young it's people. Young people. Well, I'm not young, and I'm not Korean, so I make no promises. There is a really cute little fish on the front, though. I don't know if you can see that. It's adorable. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's an easy start. Okay. Oh, it already smells weird. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> of course. Oh, it has a weird, like, stale fish taste smell, so... Uh, oh, it looks like a cute little, I don't know if you can see that, this cute little wafer, but, um, what do you think? Chua. Chua. Good. All right. Well, let's try it. Oh, you, cut your mouth. You lie. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That is disgusting. It's definitely fish. I like, ugh, I like fish, but it tastes like, oh, well, it tastes exactly like it says on the, on the bag. It tastes like dried fish, but it was deceiving because it looks like cookies. It look, reminds me of, um, oh gosh, what are those cookies? Sugar, is it sugar cookies? I'm thinking of that look like these Americans. Remind me, uh, or is it something? I don't feel like that's not sugar cookies. That's what I was going in this with. But okay, I'll try one more. It really does taste like dried fish. Anzo. <laughs> I guess if you want dried fish, you get what you pay for. All right, what's next? Surprise me. Okay. Oh, so this is topoki, which um, in Korean topoki is like a it's like a rice it's a rice cake, right? Yeah. Topoki. <clears throat> yeah. So, but I don't like I don't like topoki, but this is. A different kind of snack so I thought well, all right maybe it's not the same as eating it in the store oh you've got your cute little scissors there <laughs> oh 
Okay, you just rip it like an American. Just rip it. We don't care. Yeah, okay. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really have much smell, I don't think. So before I eat it, I'll show you what it looks like. So, I don't know if you can see that. It's just kind of reminds me a little bit like a Cheeto. I don't know if it tastes like a Cheeto. Probably not, but. Not spicy. Spicy? Not spicy. I didn't even think that was an option. Original tteokbokki is a spicy. I don't like spicy. Okay, well that's good. Let's try it. Only oh! Spicy. Oh! It is sweet. It's good. Oh. Good. It's gonna get that dried fish taste out of my mouth. <laughs> that was nasty. This is good. I don't like. Why? Oh, because it's sweet and you don't like sweet. Yeah. You like the dried fish, but you don't like this. This is delicious. Why have I never had these? I think I may have had these one time before when I visited Seoul years ago, but I don't know. These are delicious. This is my new favorite. So far, get whatever these tteokbokki snacks are. And they're not spicy, which is good because it never occurred to me when I bought all this stuff that some of it might be spicy. And <laughs> I'm putting this one by me. <laughs> it never occurred to me because Koreans do like spicy things. I don't like spicy things. So that'll be interesting. I never know where to look because I keep forgetting where the camera is. All right, what's next? Oh, God. Let me see this. From Malaysia. Oh, shrimp, shrimp chips. wasabi chips. Oh, shrimp. There's really a thing about seafood here, isn't there? Sorry, you guys. I know I it's keep Korea. looking. Korea. We'll get to that. <laughs> he doesn't want to promote another country. These are supposed to be Korean snacks, but I bought them in Korea. I, sorry, you guys. I keep looking at myself here. I'm not a professional YouTuber and I keep forgetting where the camera is. There. And they put like a little sticky thing or something there to remind me where to look. Um, these are shrimp wasabi chips apparently from Malaysia, but I bought them here. So I'm counting them as a Korean snack. There I go again. Stop looking at me. Look at you. All right. Wait, wasabi is hot. Spicy. May oil. So, oh, it's not or, original wasabi is uh, spicy. Oh, it says it contains mm. more than 30% real prawn. So, what's the other 70%? What does it smell like? Well, I don't know. I want to smell. God. They really like their fish snacks. Mmm. I'm gonna hate it. I know it because he loves it. He loves salty. I love sweet. Mm. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> oh my god. That wasabi. Oh, that wasabi hits your tongue immediately. The moment I put it on my tongue, it was all. Whoosh. All right, let me try one more. Oh my god, I feel like my my makeup is gonna be running because that just burned like a mother trucker. Watch your profanity. Okay, now I'm been warned. <laughs> Yum, 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 delicioso. <laughs> yeah, delicioso. Masisayo. Masisayo. Mm. Magnifique. How many different languages can I say that in? All right. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh. That one hits later. Oh. <laughs> I breathe. <coughs> I breathe. I breathed and it got up my nose. Oh. Let me warn you, 
They are delicious. They are good. They are good. Oh, God. Oh, but they, oh, God. They burn. That wasabi, there is no, they don't mess around. That wasabi hits your tongue just like that. Chicken and chip. Korea. What is this? What is that? <clears throat> Seu chip. Seu gang. Gang. Yeah. Uh, I was trying try to figure out what that character was. I can't. Mm. I can't. You know, uh, my Korean is about the level of like a four-year-old, and that's probably being really nice to myself. But Korean handwriting, I can't read for squat, so that's why I wasn't exactly sure. But there's shrimp on this again. I have no idea anything about. Oh shoot. Mayun. I know what mayun means. That means spicy. Where are you? There you are. That means spicy. Oh, jeez. I'm too old for this. I gotta start, like, oh. If I'm this bored, I need to do something different, like, I don't know, paper mache or scrapbooking. I'm not saying people who paper mache and scrapbooking are old. I'm just saying that eating snacks that teenagers in Korea eat is probably not the smartest thing I've done in a while. Today, maybe? It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't, it just kind of has that fake, fit, uh, airy, Did I marry? Marisol. Oh, it says it's spicy. Lita. Maybe it's just because I already ate the wasabi <clears throat> that now everything else is. I mean, it is a little spicy, but dude, it is not spicy compared. To... Oh, God. That shrimp wasabi, that got me. Oh, that got me good. Yeah, it's not as, as crazy as that. Uh, but it is, I mean, if you can see it. Again, it has a little bit of the Cheeto look to it, but yeah, it's actually nice. This one I can see myself sitting down to eat. It doesn't have a really strong shrimp taste. Just a light shrimp taste, nothing too crazy. Huh? Huh? That's good. All right, surprise me, just grab one. Whoa, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so as I said, he likes salty, I love sweet. So I found this Kit Kat that I would try. I know it's not like super weird or crazy, but in America, we have basically Kit Kats. I think sometimes around holiday season, they'll have a different one, but it's basically Kit Kat. This one's Mandarin Orange. I did one time before try like a green tea one and it was nasty, nasty. My teenage daughters at the tour, teenagers at the time, they're adults now, they really liked them. Oh God, I thought it was awful. If I come across anything like that again, I'll definitely buy some and show you guys. Why? Can I not tear this? But I do love a good Kit Kat. Here, try one. I know you don't like sweet stuff, but give one a go. I don't like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because you know what that means? That means I get to have all the Kit Kats for myself. Boo freaking who. All right. Mm, it smells really good. Oh. You want a little bite? All right. I'm okay with that. That's really good. It tastes like a Kit Kat, but it does have a really light orange flavor to it. It kind of reminds me of, you know those big chocolate orange balls that every kid in the world absolutely dies for and tries to not to eat in one sitting, and then you do, and then you get violently ill, but you do it anyway? That's what this tastes like, both the little Kit Kat wafer on the inside. It's delicious. I, thank God. I knew something in here was going to be amazing. If anything was going to be, it was going to be the Mandarin Orange Kit Kat. It did not disappoint. One thing I do notice about 
Korea. Mmm, yum yum. It's probably why I keep putting weight on since I moved here. Oh my god. Is that anytime you buy a big box of something, like crackers, they're not just all lined up inside. They all come in individually wrapped like single servings, which really surprised me at first because um, I expected more inside the box. It's not that I got less, but I like that when I read a label for what the nutrition factors are, how many calories I'm about to eat, it's for the actual serving that you're getting. So I don't have to multiply so that I'm not deceived by how many calories I'm gonna eat. So that's kind of cool. So I just thought of that when I saw that it came in this little wrapper. All right, so now what? Go ahead and hand me that. From Thailand. Yeah, I guess this one's from Thailand. It's again, sold in Korea, which is why I bought it. But uh, it's a squid snack which is, again, part of this theme that's going here. But what I, <laughs> what I noticed about this is the flavor. It's Mexican chili flavored squid snack. Mexican flavored chili squid snack. I like original squid. You like original squid. Why there would be a Mexican flavored squid, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> shout out from my Hispanic community. If you think that squid flavored, Mexican flavored squid snack sounds delicious to you. It sounds, oh, oh, oh. Mm, not bad. What do you mean not bad? Mm. No, it's bad. Yeah, difference. The smell is um, not Korea. It doesn't, it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell good. I'm just gonna tell you that, it doesn't smell good. Um, but it's a, yeah, it, oh. I thought, oh. Okay, I thought it would be like thin or strips, but they would be maybe hard. But as you, <laughs> they kind of look like flattened french fries, but they are sticky. Why is it sticky? Because uh, sweetie. It's sweet? Sweetie and uh, spicy. Okay, there we go. Things I do for boredom. Oh, that is a... Spicy and... Uh, that is a weird... That is a weird combination of flavors in my mouth right now. And texture. It's kind of, it's a little, it's a little hard. You get that spice as soon as you start chewing, but it is also a little sweet. But it, but uh, it has a fish aftertaste. That is not pleasant. That is not pleasant at all. It's a good thing we have wine here. I'm going to need it. Yeah, this was a very odd experiment. You really like that? Not bad. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I hold to the jellies. So, I don't know at all what these are. They just look like they're going to be um, gummy bears. But as you can already see, there are some weird flavors, weird flavor combos. God, my palate is still, my mouth is burning on a, like four different levels. So, yeah. It says, Cero un jelly. Cero un jelly. New jelly. New jelly. Oh, that, that explains everything. That completely tells me what I'm about to get into. I'm not good at sarcasm. I was trying. I can't even open it. Is this made for kids? Jesus. Oh. Ah, oh, it kind of smells like honey and lemon almost. Oh, cute! Is that a cat or a dog? Or bird? It says dog and bird. Can you see that? 
it says it it's cute but the label here says dog and bird and it looks like a it does it looks let me see if i can do this better it does it looks like a dog bird can you see that i'm not sure if you can it's a why would you make a dog bird oh wait what is that penguin penguin that is the weirdest no oh, that it's dog. like that dog bird penguin I'm not sure that's a penguin. I don't really know what the I heck think, that is. I think penguin. You think penguin? But it has yeah, like an animal, it has a dog face. <sighs> yeah, it's got a dog face. Well, let's check it out. I don't really like jelly. I don't like gummy bears usually. I mean, it tastes like a gummy bear. I'm not really sure what this flavor is. It does taste a little bit like lemon. At least it was the, the look of it that was weird and not the flavor because I'm not sure I could handle like, I don't even want to guess what weird flavor this would be. Though the Right, I'm going, it would have been fish flavored. So thank God it is not a fish flavored gummy bear because uh, I, I might lose my lunch, which I did just eat lunch before this, so that is a possibility. All right, before we get into that one, I wanna try this plum one. So I have two drinks here that I wanted to try. Uh, one is this plum soda, which again, isn't necessarily strange. It's just, it's not something I would see in America. And then we got this Afri Cola, which I was trying to figure out what this is. I thought maybe it would be like a, like a Coke, but what are some of the ingredients that are in it? Remember you were reading them to me? I don't know. Remember it had like cinnamon and ginger or something? I don't know. Oh my God. All right. Well, let's try the plum soda first. Sorry, my leg is falling asleep here. It'll be pouring into my wine glass. <laughs> I'm American. We drink straight out of bottles. He's always drinking out of glasses. I'm sophisticated. Bottle it is. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. How much sugar is in this? I don't know. I can't read. I, I can't see it. It's too clear. Oh wait, it's on the bottom. Uh, I don't know, probably a lot, but it is really good. Mm, 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 mm. Try it. Yeah, it's sweet, I know. It's not gonna be a salty flavored drink. <laughs> well, I don't care, that leaves more for me. Mm. Delicioso. All right, quit. Oh my God, you're shaking it. We have no, to open no, it. No, no, oh. no. Lime smell, lemon smell, ginger smell, vanilla smell, cinnamon smell. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. But you've been shaking it, and please, please, please don't go everywhere. Oh, phew. that scared me to death. Let me smell it. No, it smells like Coke. Hmm. Is that is that what the ingredients that are in Coke? Ginger and cinnamon and lemon and lime. I don't know, but it says cola. It says limonade, but there's also caffeine in here. All right, dude. What's that taste like to you? Not bad. It tastes like Coke. Yeah, yeah. Similar. It tastes like Coke. Why would they call it Afri Cola if it was just Coke? And that is so weird. Also, uh, oh no, that doesn't say Coke. It just says Cola. That is weird. All right. Well, it's it's Coke with a really cool bottle glass. 
tan, whatever. I kind of like it. Can you see that? I free cola. It's good. Well, it's just, oh my God, I've been postponing this last one as long as possible. Oh, I really don't want to do this. So I promised y'all I was going to eat the bandegi, which is this. And I will show you once we open it. It is, there is no getting around it. It is bugs. It is bugs. It is bugs. It is bugs. And Koreans love this stuff. I don't know why. Like, so the one time I had it was months ago and I was, had been drinking. I didn't know what it was. He just said, open your mouth and put it inside, which is, I'll never, ever, ever follow those instructions again for the rest of our marriage. Anyway, um, but it was nasty, and I, I swore uh, once he told me what it was, and I looked down and realized what it was, that I was never going to do it again. But for you guys, I am going to do this because I have no idea. So open it up. I did also, while he's getting it ready, I did have him pour me some wine because I am going to need something to chase this once I've chewed it all up. So I know it's got... Now, Obviously, bugs are edible. They are high in protein. They have a lot of good... Oh, God. The smell, as soon as he opens it, every time, every... <coughs> oh, God. Can this cure... I looked. I shouldn't have looked. Will this cure, like, Ebola and coronavirus? Oh, God, the smell is so bad. It's good. No, it's not. Why is there so much juice? <laughs> ah. So, can you use this? Why are you making such a big one? <coughs> oh, I'm good. <sighs> oh, oh. Don't breathe. Why is there so much juice? Okay, don't eat all of them. I have to eat one. I promised. If they watched the, the end, I would eat one. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. I want to get whatever that juice is off. All right. You see, you can see I'm not faking it. Oh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my teeny little YouTube channel. Uh... And this is also not monetized because I'm too small. So if you want to support us here, we do live in Daegu, South Korea, which is heavily hit by the coronavirus. It has impacted our, uh, our job. So if you want to support us, there is a link in the description below on how you can, uh, how, how you can financially support us. Anyway, oh, don't get so close. They smell so bad. I go. <laughs> okay, wine, wine, wine. One more. Mm -mm. <sighs> one more. What? One more wine. I think it's just. I think it's just some. I thought Tell you, me. I thought you loved me. No, it is not. Taste. Oh, the taste? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys what it tastes like. So, uh, it, at first, it seems like a bean, like you'd have a pinto bean that is not salty and. And has a really bad aftertaste, and it's a little. It doesn't like like it doesn't squirt anything too weird or anything. It's not spongy. It's kind of 
for that, but I cannot for the life of me figure out why Koreans like this so much. I, I really can't. All right. This is my, this is my last one. Go mm, mm, mm. to say I don't know how to say wine in Korean. I should. I need to learn that one. I need to learn how to say wine in Korean. I think that's all for me right now. If you like this video, uh, like it. Again, comment. Also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. If you want to just see more about the coronavirus here in Daegu. Um, if you want to see more strange videos on my comparison, being American versus Korean. Um, we have, there's a lot of differences. And again, also, if you want to help support us, there's a link in the description on how you can support our channel. Um, otherwise, you guys, have a wonderful day. And see you next time. Annyeong! Bye-bye.